Hello everyone, this is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I will be doing a character review. And does this mean the character reviews are coming back like they were? Um... Not necessarily coming back every single week, but I think the return of the character reviews um, are here. Maybe I'll just, after this week, I might just do one character review a week or two character reviews every other week. It'll be something like that, but they'll be pretty consistent. And uh, before we get started, I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing pretty good and staying safe for the most part, and I think we should go ahead and get started. I think we should go ahead and jump right into this, and the character review that I'm going to be doing today, talking about and discussing, is going to be Mythic Governor. Alright, Governor, the worst of us. His, his trait is alert. His role is him being a tank. And his alliance is a member of Woodbury. And his attack stat is 18,618. His defense is 19,433. And his HP is 20,000. 209 and his adrenaline rush name is sweet revenge the recharge rate is 66 ap and he and it deal and it does deal 60 percent of this character's missing hp in maim damage to two enemies those enemies get 15 percent of this character's attack in bleed damage for two turns. Now let's take a look at his mythic, his signature move. You're going down with me. The initial cooldown is turn two, and the cooldown is two turns. Number of uses unlimited. Deal 20% of this character's max HP in damage to this character and one enemy. Now let's take a look at the governor's mythic abilities. Strength, 20% critical hit resistance, crosshairs resistance, 50% crosshairs resistance. Governor's revenge, when killed, the attacker gets 12% of this character's attack stat in hemorrhage damage. And Unstoppable Outlast. When entering the Outlast state, 30% chance to recover all debuffs. And as you guys already probably know, his specialist skill is Outlast. When this, car when this specialist is defeated, their death is delayed for one turn during which they still may take an action and receive 100% AP. Now let's take a look at his weapon. Governor's Adaptable Uzi. Plus 25% HP. A medium bonus to AP when taking damage. And stronger attacks. When attacking, a better chance to attack with the stronger trait against the enemy. Now let's talk about his Adrenaline Rush and all that. His Adrenaline Rush is pretty good. It's pretty pretty decent. I realistically don't see a bad thing about his Adrenaline Rush at all. Now let's take a look at his signature move. Uh, deal 20% of this character's max HP in damage to... You know, the character of the, your choice and himself. Uh, to him and, you know, uh, pretty good, pretty good signature move. 
I think it's actually quite decent. Now, here's where I think he potentially could be just as good or even better than, you know, his signature and adrenaline just a little bit. Um, his uh, mythic abilities. Governor's Revenge. As you guys know that I have talked about this before, Governor's Revenge... If there's one mythic ability that you guys want to level up all the way on mythic governor, it's definitely the governor's revenge. It is really good. I mean, it's so good. Um, especially, especially if you have the governor at tier five, you get a governor's revenge too. My governor is still at tier four. But I, honestly, I would recommend leveling up both the Governor's Revenge 1 and 2 fully max if you are able to get that chance to do that. Um, let's see, Strength, 20% Critical Hit Resist, I think that's actually, I would say it's good, but I'm not really sure, I think it might be. The crosshairs um, resistance, I think, would be another excellent one to um, level up as well because it could stop the crosshairs, you know what I mean? It has a 50% chance to do that. That doesn't mean it's going to all the time, but it increases the chances of that happening. So definitely with the mythic abilities, I would say Governor's Revenge 1 and 2 are definitely priority uh, top priorities to level up as much as you can and then crosshairs resistance would probably be like right behind that for sure unstoppable outlast um that actually the stop unstoppable outlast would actually be maybe right there between governor's revenge one and two and crosshairs resistance and then Unstoppable Outlast, that's a good one because you have a 30% chance to recover from all debuffs. I think if there was one bad one, uh, one bad mythic ability from the governor, which I honestly don't think there is, it would probably be the critical hit resist. Well, I shouldn't say bad. Maybe it might be the weakest one to level up all the way. All the rest of them are pretty good. Now let's take a look at his weapon. Honestly, I would 5-star the Governor's Adaptable Uzi. And I would just try to go for a focused stun weapon on that third slot. And I would make it really tanky weapon. I would add defense and HP. And I would really go to work on that HP on his weapon. Now for that fourth slot, probably alert alert buffs. That's probably the one you want to go for for him, because I'm not really sure which other one you could go for. Um, so definitely for a weapon for the governor, focused stun, at least thirty percent defense, uh, at least thirty percent HP to start with. Alert buffs, and for the other two slots, I would really work on getting that HP as high as possible because you got to think about this. Look at his his, his adrenaline rush there. Deal 60% of this character's missing HP in maim damage. So I'm going to just show you guys as soon as uh, here in a minute, his HP is higher on purpose they did that on purpose to because the higher his HP is the higher the potential for the main damage can be you could potentially one shot a character depending on how much HP your governor has and he's just really good like let me show you guys we're getting ready to end this but just real quick before we end things let me go to my roster um, right now, this is my governor. Right now, I have 19,979 HP. But let's see if I can go to my teams. With the weapon I have, look at that. I have 
it might be kind of hard to see, but as you guys might be able to see, I have 26,721 HP, which obviously I, that defense is just, you know, a little bit lower because I have Magna as the leader, but watch what happens if I have Glenn. Look at that, Thir over 31,000 HP. And you want that HP to go as high as possible on the governor, more so than maybe any other character that I can think of right at this moment. It might actually be better to maybe use Glenn instead of Magna, but Magna's not too bad. Um, I'm not really sure, but I just think the governor is really, really good. That's one of the couple of characters I'm planning on claiming from the gold medals and I think that's going to do it for this video if you guys want to jump down there to the comments and tell me what you think about mythic governor or just to simply say hi you may if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and if you like my content subscribe to see more it would be much appreciated and to those who are subscribed to me already it is very much appreciated. You guys are very awesome. And I thank you again. I want each and every one of you to have a magnificent day and magnificent weekend ahead. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buckbeak and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.